This is Jack Jackson. We're going to see how we can use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for a missing side length. And there's actually just two cases to look at. Look at. Uh, case one is we're given a right triangle and we know uh, the two legs. So, for example, we know this is three centimeters and this is four centimeters. Can we find the other side? And case two is where we're given the hypotenuse and one leg. For example, this time when we have our right triangle here, we know the hypotenuse, maybe it's uh, 10.7 centimeters and we know one leg like 8.3 centimeters here. Okay, let's see if we can work through these using the Pythagorean theorem. Remember the Pythagorean theorem says is if we have a right triangle with sides length A, B, and C where C is the hypotenuse, that this is a right triangle if and only if A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And we can use this to see if we know any two sides to solve for the third side. So let's you try let's have you try this one. Try case one and see if you can solve for this. Uh, missing side length. Uh, go ahead and solve it and then come back when you're done. Press pause now. Okay, now that you're back, you can label these A, B, and C, and we know that C squared equals A squared plus B squared, and so C is the square root of A squared plus B squared if you're solving for the hypotenuse. So you just simply plug in 3 squared plus 4 squared. Now notice you have to square first then you add, and then you finally simplify the square root if possible. In this case, it turns out to be exactly 5. So if this is exactly 3 and that's exactly 4, then the other side is exactly 5. Let's do another one with case 2. Okay, say this is 4.7 and this is 2.3. Um, it could be miles this time. Okay, find the other side. Work this out, come back. Press pause now. Okay, again, we can come back and label this A and B and this C. And again, C is the square root of A squared plus B squared. So we just plug these numbers in. 4.7 squared plus 2.3 squared. I'm going to use my calculator over here and do this. The square root of 4.7 squared plus 2.3 squared and we get 5.23259081 miles. Now, if we assume these are actual measurements, our original measurements were rounded off to the tenth of a mile. In other words, they have two significant digits. So that means we, we should have no more than two significant digits in our answer, which means we should round this off to 5.2 miles. Okay. Let's look at case two. 10.7 centimeters and 8.3 centimeters and we're solving for the other leg. See if you can do this one on your own. Press pause and come back when you get finished. Press pause now. Okay, so if this is A, B, and C, we're looking for leg C. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So b squared equals c squared minus a squared, and b is the square root of c squared minus a squared. With our specific numbers, this is 10.7 squared minus 8.3 squared. And again, let's assume this is met. These are measurements, so these are not exact figures, but rounded off to start with. So we'll have to round off our answer. So we do this on the calculator. Square root of 10.7 squared minus 8.3 squared. And that turns out to be 6.752777206. I usually like to go ahead and write down all the digits so you can see what you got on your calculator, but then round it off. Notice this one is three significant digits, and this one down here is two significant digits. So the weak link is this, two significant digits, so we round off here to 6.8 centimeters and leave our answer like that. One more example. 
suppose you know the hypotenuse is 8 units, uh, meters, and we know this one is 3 meters. What is this side here? And we also have to know that's a right triangle. If this is not a right triangle, then uh, this does not work. Pythagorean theorem doesn't work. Got to be a right triangle. So go ahead and work this one out yourself. Press pause now. Okay, we're back. Remember again, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where this is a. That we're looking for, this is b, and c is known. So a squared equals c squared minus b squared. a equals the square root of c squared minus b squared. So a is the square root of 8 squared minus 3 squared. So that's 64 minus 9 is 55. So the square root of 55. Now, if these are exact measurements, okay, let's talk about this just briefly. In mathematics, we can think of numbers as being one of two things. They can be exact measurements. So this would 3, centimeter, three meters is really 3.0 repeating forever meters. In other words, we know every decimal place forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. That's a pure number. That's a theoretical type number. If that's the case, and these are both theoretical numbers, not something we actually measured with some device, but they're actually just theoretically exactly 3 meters and exactly 8 meters, then the exact answer for C or for A is square root of 55 uh, meters. And the only way we can say our answer is like that. Now we can approximate that on our calculator, square root of 55, and we see that it is approximately 7.4161984487 meters. And all those digits are, are good, but there's more beyond that. Now on the other hand, so this is an approximation. No matter, even with all those digits, it's still approximation. Now, if this was a measurement, and let's say this is 8.0 and 3.0, meaning two significant digits both places, then we would round off our answer to, to two significant digits of 7.4 meters because we rounded off our original answers to the nearest tenth, and so we must round off our final answer to two significant digits as well. So there gives you a, a couple of examples of the, each of the two possible cases for solving for a missing side length from a right triangle when we're given two side lengths and we use the Pythagorean theorem for those um, applications.